In today's video, we are going to talk about Nano versus Vim. Well, both of these are text editor for your Linux distribution. So let's talk about both of these. First of all, I'll talk about Nano. Well, Nano is an old text editor. And when you enter into Nano, you are into editing mode immediately. So if I open my .bash rc file, I will just write here .bash rc, hit enter. This is my .bash rc file of my Linux and I'm into editing mode straight away. I can write anything, I can delete anything, I can copy anything. Let me just show you that how you can copy anything. I will just right click on it and you can copy that one and let's paste it into this line. So I'll just click on paste and here you can see you can copy and paste anything with your nano text editor. And there is one more thing and that is Nano may work or may not work on your Linux distribution because it doesn't come in every Linux distribution out there. Other thing that about Nano is it is easier and it is very intuitive to use. And in Nano, if you want to go to the bottom of your file, you just need to keep pressing Ctrl plus V key and it will take you further down to your document and you can also use your arrow key. But in Vim, you cannot do that. And in case if you want to get out of your nano text editor, you just need to press Ctrl X. And as you can see down here, it is also giving us some of the instruction. Well, to get out of your nano editor, just press Ctrl X. And here it is asking if you want to keep the changes. So I will just press N and we are out of our nano text editor. Now let's talk about Vim. Well, Vim is an updated version of VI. So if I just write here vim space dot bash rc and here we are into our bash rc file with our vim editor. Well, it is not easy and very intuitive to use and it is also not available in every Linux distribution as I am using Ubuntu 22.04 version and still I did not have the vim installed by default. I had to install it and if we talk about its performance, it is much faster than the nano. But there is one thing and that is only powerful editor can use this because there are a lot of commands that you might need to have in order to use your Vim text editor. Because with Vim, you will not be into your editing mode straight away. As you can see here, we are not into our editing mode. In order to insert something into your Vim text editor, you have to press I. And here you can see we are into our insert mode at the moment. Now we can add anything into our Vim text editor. And there is one more thing and that is when we use our Linux distribution onto our terminals, on our terminals we do not have arrow keys because people tend to use smaller keyboards. And then what if you want to move into your file? For that purpose we have keys like H, J, K, L. With the help of J, you will move downwards with the help of K, you will move upward. As you can see, I am pressing my J and K key and it is moving upward and downward. And with the help of your H and L key, you can move right and left onto your document. So that's why Vim is not as easier to use and it is not for beginners. You can also use the arrows keys if you have available onto your keyboard. I am using it onto my laptop, so obviously I have my arrow keys available. That is why I can move into my documents with the help of my arrow keys. So this is how you can use it. Now to exit from your Vim editor, we have to use shortcut as well. And the shortcut for that is colon Q. And here you can see we have successfully got out from our Vim editor. So that was the basic introduction about Vim and Nano. And if I conclude this video, I would say Nano is easier to use and it is very suitable for beginners. But on the other hand, Vim is for those who are pro on Linux and have strong command on using different text editor and Vim is one of them because you will need to have a lot of command in order to use this one. And that brings us to the end of today's video. I'll see you in the next one. Till then, take care.